Welcome small engine students to another video clip. This one is about completing the online safety training and safety test certification. So I'm starting at our home screen here on Canvas and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll over to the modules tab which is our main source of information and on the modules in class information you can see there is a link here with safety test login information it tells you a little bit about it it even has a QR code that you could use with your cell phone to jump into the safety training that way um, it gives you some instructions on what safety test we want to do the automotive service safety that's the test that we're looking for for you to do but there's lots of other tests as you can see from this list I point out here that the WD-40 test is a pretty good bonus certification and there's just all kinds of good information on this website uh, SP2 um, if I exit out of this and I go back to the modules page what you'll notice if you go down to our module 1 section our very first activity there does say SP2 online safety test. This is an assignment. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and you'll see some of that same login information. Now to show you how this works, I'm going to attack this like I've never completed any SP2 online safety training and so I'm going to make a login for myself for the first time. With that, I'm going to click this invitation, have you used SB2 before? I'm going to say no. And it's going to ask me to create my username and password. I'm going to say Mr. French and I'll go ahead and fill all this information out. Okay, I've completed my login information I'm going to click sign up and when I look on my main menu I can see all the different tests that are available for me to take remember the only one that we're requiring here for our class is automotive service safety however you can do these other trainings for extra credit if you would like but I'm gonna start with this automotive service safety you can see it takes me through an introduction it has an audio recording of everything that's written here and there's all kinds of information this training is broken down into several modules if I'd like to see those modules I can click the red arrow here and go through the whole test now there's probably going to be some information in here if you've done other automotive classes or other mechanics types classes that you you probably had this training before maybe on your job site maybe in other education programs you've taken some information is probably going to be new to you though for instance there's a whole section here on electric vehicles it has some great safety information there's information here on fire prevention and fire safety. When you get all the way through the modules, it wraps up with a conclusion and a final exam. Now, if you've already done extensive online safety training before, or extensive in-person safety training for that matter, um, a lot of this information you might already know. You can jump down to the conclusion and final exam like I did right here. and click there your exam screen will come up and you can say start exam now what I recommend you do as you do this test there even if you've gone carefully through all the training some of this information might be hard for you to remember so with that what we're gonna do is we're gonna log in again sp2.org it remembered it for me 
I'm going to go ahead and log in. And let me make the screen a little bigger here so you guys can see. What we want is SP2 training. The career section does have great information on how to write a resume or um, job interview skills. I'll get my login information there. And what you can see is I can open this up again. So now I have two windows up with SB2. One, I'm directly in the safety test. The other, I'm in the information. So if I look at this test question, the pass technique on a fire extinguisher stands for push, aim, squeeze, swipe. Hmm, push, aim, squeeze, sweep. Well, let's say I don't remember that particular acronym. I know it's going to be under the fire section. So what I'm going to do is roll down here, fire prevention and fire safety. And I'll review this particular module. Now there's going to be steps in here. that you have to answer before you can move forward. Here's the question I was looking for. Memorize the pass technique. Pull the pin, aim the hose, squeeze the trigger, and sweep from side to side. So pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. And what I recommend you do when you come to a question that you don't know the answer to after you've already reviewed the information, go back through, use your two tabs, and do a little what we call just-in-time training to review that particular test question. This one's talking about eyewash stations. If I go to the module, hey, there's a thing on eyewash stations right there, there's module eight and I can start to review that safety information because some of these regulations are very specific on what they're looking for. Some of these questions, because some of these questions are very specific on what they are looking for, having access to the exact standards is really nice to allow you to review. Once I am done with the safety test, I can go all the way through this thing. If I hit quit, it will bail me out of the exam. So I have to go through and answer every question. Once I do that, I can submit my test. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Once I complete my exam, you'll see this screen where it says you can either quit, which will lose all your answers, or finish in grade. Now I answered very quickly, and, qu and quite frankly for the purpose of this example, I didn't even look at what my answers would be. I'm just trying to show you the different screens that come up as you go to do this safety test. I'm going to click finish in grade, and it'll tell, tell me my score. Unfortunately, my score was 40%, and quite frankly, I'm Again, it's surprised that it was that high. The score needed to pass is 80%. Now see right here, it says this was your attempt number one. You are allowed three attempts on this safety exam. So please take those very carefully as to not blow through your three attempts. I'm gonna, I've already lost my first attempt. I'm gonna have to really study hard and get it together so I can pass it on one of my next attempts. It does give you a nice review. And it shows you exactly which questions you missed. It doesn't show you what the answers are, but again, it does show you what questions you have missed on the online safety test.
Okay, once you finish your exam, you're giving a opportunity to provide a review of the test. We have different choices. I'll say it was excellent, good information, submit review, and continue. Congratulations, you passed, 92%. That means I, I missed uh, at least a couple questions there, but not too shabby for taking the test rather quickly. What I'm going to do now is click, well, I'm gonna see these answers that I missed. All size companies, oh, I was wrong. I guess really small companies are allowed not to have a fire prevention plan and probably it was portable eyewash station or scissors. Again, it shows you that there's always more you can learn about safety. I'll go back and close the test and return to course. Now, why did I do that? Because I need to print out a certificate to share on Canvas for my credit. So if I click over here, I'll bring up this navigation menu and you can see that I've completed this module with a score of 92%. View the certificate. And there is my beautiful certificate. If I click here for a printable version, I can make it go sideways like that, or I can go back to this version. In either case, what you wanna do here is print this thing out and make it a PDF. So I'm gonna save this sucker. It's going to be my S P2 certificate and I'm going to save that. I can then take that PDF certificate and submit it online on Canvas. Let's do that right now. Back here on Canvas, you can see that I'm logged into my student view. From the modules tab, you can see my class information section, but we were in module one completing the online safety test. It asked me to submit an assignment, and that is going to be submitting the certificate, but I also have to do this ARC shop waiver. So I'm gonna download that waiver, open it up, and fill it out. So I have filled out the online safety test certificate, I'm then going to again print this certificate, and when I print it, I will save it as a PDF. With both items now saved on my desktop, I can now submit these to Canvas. I click Submit Assignment, choose the file, I'm going to add another file. So now I have my SP2 safety certificate and my waiver, and I'm gonna click Submit. And that's all there is to it. The SP2 safety certificate is completed. This certificate is good for a year. So once you've completed this test and submitted it, if you take another automotive course in the future where they ask you for a SP2 safety certificate, you won't have to take the exam again. Just save that PDF and submit it to your next instructor or print it out and give it to them in person for a hands-on course. I hope this video answered some questions and helped get you certified with SP2.